YouTube, we out here rolling in the um, 2000 2018 Cadillac Escalade. Now, check this out. You see that little, that little line right there in the glass. I bought a, um, a glass, a windshield repair kit. I'm gonna do a video with you guys and show y'all how to fix that freaking little, how to repair that. But, here I am just driving. Look what happens. Freaking rock fly up. And what do you know? Hit the other freaking side of the windshield. And that's not repairable. You can see two big lines and two little lines from the other side. I mean, it's freaking no love out here. I mean, this big old SUV catching all the rocks in the road. What is really going on? I mean, it's like a big old net just catching rocks. This is freaking crazy. So now I'm gonna have to go through my insurance company, pay the little deductible to get this fixed. This is just ridiculous. Can I have any words love? Any. But anyway, just left the dealership. If you check out my previous video, you see why I made a post. You see why I made a post on. I made a post on my rims being damaged. Okay, so you know they own um, they fixed the rims. They did an awesome job. But what the rim guy did also is he when he was sanding down the surface so he could paint it. He hit my chrome inserts at least he hit a couple of them so now I got chrome inserts with swirl marks all over them so I left I just left him up there also he's gonna order me some more two of those inserts on the Escalade rim I swirl marks all over them from whatever he was sanding his surface with and also all of the inserts were rainbow color kind of like on Takashi 69 hair had little rainbow colors in there. So it turns out he's on, um, it was just adhesive from the, adhesive from the tape where they take their thing off. He didn't clean all that stuff off. So it kind of turned a rainbow color. Why do they do this freaking parking lot like this? I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, it turned rainbow color. So that's what that was all about. But we got that situated now. He cleaned all the rims off. Got all that old adhesive off of there, and yeah, we're looking a whole lot better now. So now I just gotta wait for those inserts to come and to come to the dealer, and they're gonna they're gonna um, call me, and we're gonna go up there and get that fixed. Turns out the, the rim repair guy he has to pay for those because he damaged them. I don't think the dealer gonna cover that for him, but they're gonna put them on at least. They look out for each other. I guess you can say looking out for me, but shit. My rims are one kind of damaged. Let's check it out real quick. You see that? I mean, the repair is shoddy if you ask me also. I don't have my crease no more. You know. I try to work with these guys and not be too much of an a-hole customer. Maybe I won't notice this when they fix this. But right now, I'm seeing this. I don't understand why I had to take so much down. I had to take so much off of there. And you can see here how the old adhesive right there, that's what was causing the inserts to be discolored. You had to clean all that off with alcohol. And here's the other one over here. Let's see where it's at, where it's at. Hmm. I don't even see it no more, but he know it's there and I know it's there. So it's gonna get fixed. Ah, where the hell is it at? There we go. Right there. See that? Swirl marks in there. He repaired. 
something in here somewhere. But anyway, he's gonna replace those two inserts on the Escalade. And we're just gonna go from there. But yo, it's your boy Kurt, a roll reporting to you. Um, yeah, watch out for them rocks kicking up from people vehicles. Make sure you got a pretty good deductible on your car so that you don't have to come out of pocket for no stuff like that. And now we hopping in the, the C63 AMG. So I'm gonna let you hear that thing crank up real quick. Like, it's pretty nice outside. I probably won't be too aggressive, but it's always beautiful music. Nice, nice. So, guess what I'm doing in the AMG 63? Today is dealership, they dealership screw up day. All right, so I gotta take my AMG to the dealer because when they repair my brakes, whoever's doing the work, clamp down or something on my calipers and you can see the damage to the calipers there. And it's like that on both sides. Nothing wrong with the rear, just the front, so. What is my luck with these dealerships and these service departments? These nice vehicles that are doing work that you would get at a side, side shop, you know? Um, disappointed in that. I mean, I know personally, you got a pretty this a pretty nice caliper like these on this car. You don't you don't clamp nothing on the painted surface. I mean, that's just common sense. If anything, you take the pressure out the line and letting them cylinders just get pushed in. You don't use force. I don't know what to say. But hey, this is your boy Kurt A. Roll, and I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed the insightful information. Peace.